what is okay so what is going on guys alex here from Lemax studios today we're gonna be taking a look at the i can't say what i was going to say for this video i was gonna say jimmy animated big mouth billy bass um i get i just realized i really shouldn't say jimmy because this is not jimmy this is something that i got off of uh ebay with this uh you know disgrace to mankind god i'm gonna kill it one of these days anyway um I got this off eBay for about $50, of course, with this, like I said, disgrace to mankind. Look how floppy that is. Oh, there's no tailpiece in there. That's why. Okay. This thing will get destroyed one day, maybe in a, another video. Who knows? Anyway, so this is Big Mouth Billy Bass. It seems they just took a normal Big Mouth Billy Bass and put a, another skin on it. That's actually not the case. So what they did is they took the Chris, I'm assuming the either Willie or the Travis plaque, maybe even the uh, Lucky the Lobster, but I doubt it. They took one of those plaques, one of the Whistle Piece uh, wooden plaques, which, man, those are kind of hard to come by. Uh, they took one of those, and uh, they put a whole new circuit in it so that it's the, it's the Big Mouth Billy Bass Jr. circuit. So this is basically just Big Mouth Billy Bass Jr. on a bigger plaque. And that's pretty much what it is. Um... Like I said, eBay for about 50 bucks. It has an adapter port, but it doesn't run on adapter because the Big Mouth Billy Bass Jr. did not run on adapter. But there he is. He is kind of screwed up, I guess, the way he moves. You can tell this is not a Big Mouth Billy Bass Jr. piece in here. This is the one, like what they use for the newer Big Mouth Billy Bass. You can tell this whole head paddle, that's what that is because of the way this, if I open the mouth, you can tell with when I if I can do that, then yeah, and then these eyes aren't connected because of that. But uh, overall, looks. I mean, it looks okay. Take a look at the back. Uh, the battery compartment is screwed on. I guess I forgot to unscrew it before I started filming. So let me grab a screwdriver really quick. That is embarrassing. I didn't mean to. Okay, hold on. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I think that's the wrong size. I should. I really should have. Um, I really should have checked to see if I undid the screw. Um. It does run on C batteries since it's all uh, one and a half volts. It's the same as double A's, so C batteries do work on it. Just wanted to go ahead and show and prove that the batteries do work. Now, the back does say 1999 Jimmy Industries. I guess uh, the seller did not put their own watermark on it, which I would I would go ahead and assume. But they kept the uh, Jimmy Industries, and there's some weird stuff around here. I don't know what that is. Oh, my camera. No. Oh. It moved. How dare it. Uh, motion sensor, as far as I know, does work. At least last time I used it, I think it worked. I, I don't remember. But, um, I think without further... It's things take me to the river, and I will survive. So it's the American version, not the Australian version. So I guess without further ado, we will demonstrate it for you. Now, there is a reason that I'm reviewing this fish today. You guys are going to watch me restore it. That's right. Uh, Lee Max Studios is doing a restoration video. And it's not a complete restoration video. That would take way too long. It would take like five hours to upload on the channel. So it's going to be, you know, just kind of updates while I'm doing it. And I'm going to do it right here. Except the camera is going to be moved and I'm just going to be holding it while I'm, uh, you know, oh, hold on. I'm going to be holding it while 
I film. Now this is a regular Big Mouth Dilly Bass plaque. As you can see, this is entirely different. It's melted, sorry about that. And the lighting makes it look like it's faded. It's really not. It's just melted like no tomorrow because it had a Big Mouth Dilly Bass on it, which I scrapped for the Christmas Big Mouth Dilly Bass. So for this little motion sensor and wire here. But as you can see, it's different. This was all cracked up, so I include that. That's why some of that is there. Uh, yeah, I had to scrap this because look, some of this, like some of these screw holders are missing. These are all gone. They're all dead. They're 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 done for. But this, as you can tell, if I if I show you this uh, hole right here, and then I go ahead and I show you what the Big Mouth Billy Bass here has, it's completely different because it's. A different mechanism and I've actually been on the inside of this before because I've had to repair it when I got it I had a split gear but yeah so there we go so now I guess I will cut to the next restoration update now really quick if you're wondering what I'm saying when I mean restore I'm going to be replacing the mechanism because as you can see the head wouldn't lift very far and I can tell that's got to be something with the mechanism so we're gonna be giving it an all new whistle piece mechanism for everyone wondering, this is what the inside looks like. The board isn't even mounted, which worries me slightly. Sensor wires are undone. Speaker is the normal size, though. And uh, if you guys would like to, if I can carefully lift this without knocking over the thing, I can show you the motor in action. Or maybe not. It's trippy. It is very trippy. You can just... Oh, my God. Eh. Uh, and that's what I didn't want to do. That's better. You can see it running. It runs the other direction, and then you get the focus. It's, it's trippy. I don't know why. It seems the bracket has actually been snapped up a little bit. So the next problem I'm facing is stretching the skin because that's torn and I don't want to tear the skin anymore because you can tell this is super flimsy and brittle. It's starting to yellow probably all the way on the inside, but either way. Okay, so one of the pieces of foam came off, but as you can see, this is one of the newer mechanisms and I'm not sure why they did this, but I think I, this is a newer mechanism too. So this whole thing is just the new Big Mouth Billy Bass mechanisms because that's what this is and you can tell because of that, this little thing pops out right there. Because the older mechanisms don't have that, but this little bit just pops out. And it's it's a pain in the ass. It really is. So especially for if you're switching gears. Oh, you can see it better there. But, yeah, and then here's what the fish looks like. I'm going to clean it. Um, Maybe. I don't know. But you can tell. Look, it's yeah, it's ugh, disgusting on the inside. It's, it's, it's bad. So, yeah, I guess... Um, after we get the mechanism out, we will go ahead and show you what it looks like on the inside, and then I will replace it, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so plan B, I figured because this wouldn't work with the gears that are in this, because they're slightly bigger because of that little bulge right there, or at least the gear that goes here is slightly bigger. I'm going to completely swap out the mechanism with this Travising Trout mechanism right here. So, yeah, um, when I get the mechanism switched, I will go ahead and show everyone. So in case anybody was wondering, this is the inside of the Travis. I'm going to be taking probably this whole bracket and then the whole mechanism, and I'm going to be swapping it out with this. So, yeah, I will see you guys when that update comes. Okay, so here's the mechanism that came out of the Travis to go into the Big Mouth Billy Bass. So I have successfully replaced the Big Mouth Billy Bass mechanism. So here's the old one. Here's the new one. Hopefully this will work. I'm going to put the bottom lever back on, screw that back on, and then it should be fine, I guess. I don't really... Oh, I'm going to have to hot glue this phone back on, so, and hot glue some of the wiring they did. Okay, so we have the uh, bottom lever put back on now, so we're going to put the skin on, and then we'll show you what it looks like with the skin on. So with the new mechanism, here's what it currently looks like without skin. thought that you guys would kind of like this. Look, it comes up all the way. So let's put the skin on and see. Alright everyone, so here he is, finally completed on uh, the same battery, so his head isn't probably, I, I doubt it's going to live very high, but here we go. Okay, already, I screwed it up, of course. But the mouth moves a lot more. I've already screwed it up. Uh, wire came off, of course. Okay, so I fixed the wire on the motor, thank God. Uh, I haven't screwed it 
back on yet. It's close. I mean, like, I just gotta put the screws in the back. But other than that, he's all good to go, except for some new batteries. But his head comes, like, all the way up to here now, I'm assuming with fresh batteries. These are the same batteries, and they're already a little low. But let's go ahead and test them out. Huh. Seems a little quieter. That's weird. The mouth moves a lot more though. But his head, if I pull it up, it used to stop out here. Now it comes all the way up. It used to stop out here. And now it will come all the way up. And I will go ahead and I will run and grab some fresh batteries for it. Alright guys, so I put some brand new batteries in him, and one of them was actually slightly corroded. This is brand new, and it's already sliding, it corroded from being in the package for a couple weeks, actually. And I don't usually use Duracell, so I'm just going to blame Duracell on that. But uh, here we go, Big Mouth Billy Bass, restored. Hmm. All right then. Ooh. Ooh, something in there is hot. Hold on. I feel the okay, I can feel it through the plaque that something is hot. So, I did not expect for this, but it got hot and it cut out. I guess the 2004 circuits from Jemmy do that. Because I can feel through this, through the plaque, the board is around right here. I can feel it. It's hot. So, hopefully it's not fried. Oh, God. Okay. So, I can feel the actual circuit. And it is hot. Like, it is hot. And uh, I'm not hurt to the touch hot but it's it's hot uh not quite sure why but i guess i'll go in and hot glue some of these wires but you know what guys this video is long enough so if you enjoyed please like comment subscribe and as always take care